Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is the 20th of January. That date sticks out for some reason, and uh, it's the feast day of the uh, Venerable Euthemius the Great and his troparion. Rejoice, O barren wilderness, and be glad, sterile desert, that has never known the travail of birth. The man of desires multiplied your sons. He has planted them in faith and piety. He has watered them with the Holy Spirit. They grow in self-denial and perfect virtue. Through his intercessions, O Christ God, preserve your people in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, uh, let me see here. Oh, there we go. Well, we've had all sorts of computer problems this morning, and uh, we may not be able to hear... Uh, May not be able to hear Robin this morning. We'll try it to see what happens, though. And uh, Robin, uh, no, we're not going to be able to hear you. Why don't you say a few words? So we'll just, yeah, they can't hear you. So we'll, we'll come back tomorrow morning with you. Have a good one. So, okay. So there, I'm all befuddled. So we... We start off this morning with our scriptures. And uh, let me see. I think, yes, there they are. Good. So our first, uh, our first reading is from uh, Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 6 through 15. Brethren, it is the God who said, let, shine, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith as he ha had who wrote, I believed and so I spoke, we too believe, and so we speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus, and brings us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Amen. Our epistle this morning. And now our Gospels from St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 17 through 23. At that time Jesus stood on a level place, with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem, and the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured, and all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let's see if we can maneuver around here. All sorts of problems this morning. And, uh, but, Let's see what we got. We got Eleone Shanera right at the top there over there in the uh, annex. And she says and reminds us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. And she says good morning to everyone. And there's Earl and Vicky from uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Good morning. Tuba Voyager. What is the name of the chant at the start and end of the streams? Um, give thanks unto the Lord. 
and uh, it's sung by the Boston Byzantine Choir, and uh, so you can find it there. Uh, I believe they have a website where they sell those CDs. It's pretty good. And uh, Amber Tremaine, good morning, and Catherine Houston, good morning, brothers and sisters. Jonathan Nichols, good morning, and Violetta, good morning to you also. Good morning. And over here, Barb Anderson, Joyce Marie, good morning to you both. And Joyce says, Create in me, she prays, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Amen. And over here, well, let's see. Wilson Salviejo, good morning, everyone. Lena May, my little sister, good morning. Joanne Manaski, good morning. Catherine Salcedo, good morning. Sisters, brothers and sisters in Christ. Anita Dalton, good morning. Joanne Manaski, Robin Armstrong. Well, we couldn't hear uh, Robin this morning, so we're all kafuddled here. Karen Kurlanovich, good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. It's so good to start the day with all of you in prayer. Please pray for traveling mercies for my friends Barbara and her granddaughter Lexi. They're going back to Bishop, California this morning. And at 6 a.m., well, Lord, we pray for safe travels for Barbara and Lexi. Give, get them home safely. Amen. There's Debbie Owen. Good morning to you, Deb. Anita Dalton, please, Lord, please have mercy. Yep. And Maria Fenton, good morning. And I think we've said hello to everybody. And uh, Amber says, Steve, did you get hit with the bad weather? Hope the critters... Uh, especially sugar, are all tucked in and cozy. Well, yesterday I left you early because we were supposed to get bad weather coming in, and it came. I got all my barn chores done, and uh, as soon as I got home, the ice ice and sleet started. So that was good timing. So, all righty. Man, just double check over here and here. Ah, I think we've sent a load to everyone. So let's pray. And okay, we'll go with this one. So, well, we're here for our morning prayer, so let's pray. I'll adjust my glasses so I can read. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy, na for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me. O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly, suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou was not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of my understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hem thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on toward God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King, and our God. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God, most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest for our bodies and tired by labor, we thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions. But in thy love toward mankind thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the Eternal Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who, ever, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, Thou, who without corruption didst bear God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will, and every hour of the day instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly, in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen events occur, let me not forget that all are sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably toward everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in the events. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray, pray thy thyself and me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And uh, let me see here. Ba, 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 ba.
There's a question. Oh. Oh, Alaska Bayfield. Any tips for a Protestant who wants to convert? Yeah. Simply uh, learn about our faith. Go to a, a, a local priest, an Orthodox church, and uh, tell him exactly what you want, and he'll help you. And tune into this uh, program. We're here every morning at 8 a.m. and every night at 9 p.m., and we're here to answer questions and, and help you along. We have uh, several uh, people of varying faiths. We have, you know, this is mostly Orthodox Christian here, but we have Roman Catholics, we have Protestants of various denominations, and I don't see Rob King this morning, but he's one of our, he's our Protestant in uh, residence, uh, Presbyterian. So, you know, we have all faiths here. But if you really want to uh, consider um, converting to the Orthodox faith, I urge you to go see a local priest and tell him exactly, or call him on the phone, tell him exactly what you want. And you'll have lots of questions, and you should be able to answer your questions. And we're always here for you anyway. So there you go. All righty. Um, let me see if anybody else has joined us here this morning. Robert Ryan. See? Robert Ryan is our resident Roman Catholic. Good morning, Robert. Good, good to see you. The peace of Christ to all. And let me see here. Everyone is welcomed here. Everyone. And I see Katerina Salas is here. She has a doctor's appointment. So, Lord, uh, this morning she has a doctor's appointment. She's going to have a lot of physical problems, Lord. Her and her mother, Anna. So, Lord, we pray for uh, Katerina and Anna that uh, you bring them healing and enlighten those doctors. Help them, Lord. And uh, Kurt Lytle says, good morning, everyone. I'm in the back pew. He's way back there, way back there in the back pew. So, Okay. Well, let me see. Well, this is the point where we, uh, and Alaska says, thank you so much. Amen. I think I've said hello to everybody. And this is the point, Alaska, where we normally pray for everyone. Everyone has their own prayer attentions, and we try to hit them all. So, so Lord, we ask that uh, you remember and have mercy on all those who we are about to pray for this morning. So, Lord, Anita Dalton, we pray for Anita and her husband, David, uh, we're getting over the COVID, and we pray for a full recovery for them. We pray for Brother Robert, for miracle healing for him, him, Lord. Several health issues, including leukemia. And, Lord, we pray for our Anita's brother-in-law, Steve, who is now cancer-free. Thank you, Lord. He had stage 4 prostate cancer. And, Lord, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit to Anita's daughter, Sarah, to help her, guide her in her life. We pray for that. Raymond Cannon asked to pray for his mother, Sherry, and Althea, both suffering from cancer. Catherine Manai asked us to pray for Beatrix, Emily and her children, and Alexander for spiritual, physical, and emotional health, and for your protection. We also pray for Father Stefan and Father Arcady at their mission parish in Pokeyev Icon, Mother of God Parish in Florida. Lord, we pray for uh, uh, Kim DeForest, and her family, we pray for the health and healings for uh, Kim, for Megan, her daughter who has cancer, for Ross, and for uh, the father and uh, husband in that family. We pray for his good health. We pray for Nelvia Agnew, Lord, who was in the hospice last we heard, and uh, we haven't heard back from her. So, Lord, we pray that she has found eternal peace with you. Amen. Well, Gary Ballard asks to pray for his health and the health of his wife, Stefania. We pray for them. And we pray for their parents' health, Mary, Ella, and Ellis. We pray for their children. We pray for Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Reynard. We pray for their academic, career, and life pursuits. And uh, let me see. We pray, dear Lord, that you give Gary strength and focus to complete his assignments, and we pray for his friend Daryl, who has fallen asleep. And, Lord, we pray for Kevin McKirchin, who's recovering from that stroke. We pray for him. Maria Masseri asks us to pray for uh, her family. So, Lord, we pray for Maria's family, especially her sister-in-law, Ad Adina, who is uh, going through chemotherapy right now, Lord. We pray for her. We pray for Maria's husband, Savarillo, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. Lord, we pray for uh, 
Catherine Houston. We pray for her, Lord, and we pray for a healing for her sister. We pray for a friend, Susan, who's going, who's being treated for bone cancer. We pray for Kathy, that she returns to our faith and becomes her best self. And Lord, we pray for Anne Gaffey, who had that serious stroke, Lord. We pray for a full recovery for her. We also pray for Catherine's son, Brandon, and his wife, Nicole, and their little baby girl, Poppy Rose. We pray for the health of Lexi. We pray for uh, Catherine's uh, cousin, John. And we pray for Nadine. We also pray for Michael, Donna, Kevin, Keith, and Jan Novak, all suffering from cancer, Lord. We pray for uh, Janice Proctor at the request of Michael Rager. And Lord, we pray for my family. We pray for the health of my family. We pray for my uh, granddaughter, Sarah, my daughter, Maureen, and her family. We pray for Christina, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of my wife, Sharon. We pray for our friends Ann Bradner, Jim and Ann Robinson, and Gary Fisher. Lord, we pray for our little sister down in Pennsylvania, Lena May. We pray for her health and a healing for her. We also pray for her husband. We pray for her daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie. And we pray that Charlene remains cancer-free. We pray for our brother, Bernie Grand, Lord, and for his mother, for health and healings. Amen. We pray for Karen Kalanovich. We pray for her health and a healing for her. We pray for her children and her grandchildren. And right now, especially uh, her son, Chris, and uh, his family, Lord. They're going through some troubled times. And uh, we pray for uh, Chris's mother-in-law, who had that fall and is slowly recovering. Lord, we pray for her. And we pray for uh, Karen's grandson, George, for healing. And for her other grandson, Gabe, who's in the Marines. We pray that you protect him. We pray for the health of Kat Zerga and her sister. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. We pray for Catherine Salcedo and that family, Lord. We pray that you you uh, heal that family and bring them your peace. We pray for Catherine, Raphael, Bianca and Rodrigo, little Izio. We pray for John and his children as well. Now, Lord, at St. Michael's Parish, my parish, we're praying for Ethel Peters, Aziza Baruti. Stella Susuris, Enum George, Mary Malark, Barbara Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Stephen Sharon Toby, Joseph Madiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabera, Marion Canali, Cooper Wolf, Jorge Luqua, Curia Jane Solberg, Curia Jocelyn, Dory Harris, Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert D'Arsenio, Stephen Rumian, Michael Joseph, John Nicholson, Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for Rennie Abraham, Ruth Leo, and George Michaels. We pray, dear Lord, for their health, healings, and your peace. We pray for Carmi Simeon for her health. We pray for Rob King. We pray for his health and the health of Tucker. And Lord, we pray for Rob's children and grandchildren, for their health and that they come home in faith to you. We pray, dear Lord, for uh, Rob's sister, Dixie, that you help her with her struggle. And we pray for Judy, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for Earl and Vicki Winter. We pray for their health. And we pray for Vicki's parents, Martha and Jimmy, down in Tupelo, Mississippi. We pray for them. Lord, we pray for Earl's business. We pray for his success. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay, Lindsay's friend Donna. We pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. And Lord, we pray for Barb Anderson, our sister. We pray for her, Lord, and she's got some health problems and going to need heart surgery, Lord. We pray for successful surgery. We pray for her doctors as well. And we pray for her whole family, especially her son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for him, Lord, after you've healed him from cancer. We pray that he remains cancer-free. Lord, we pray for, stru uh, we pray for, uh, excuse me. We pray for Natalia Klaus. We pray for her and her family over in the Netherlands. We pray that you send Natalia the Holy Spirit and bring good health to that family. We pray for Stravula and Ilya Batskos and their family. Uh, we pray for Marie. We pray for, uh, Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. We pray for Uncle Demetrius who's fallen asleep and his wife, Felicia. We pray that you heal and strengthen Aaron's heart. We pray that you make George cancer-free. We pray for Katina, seriously ill with liver and kidney problems, Lord. And slowly fading away, Lord, we pray for, 
for a miracle healing for Katina. We also pray for Father Mark, that's Travula's priest. We pray for his full recovery after his surgery. We pray for his health. We pray for Maria Fenton. Good morning, Maria. Well, Lord, we pray for Maria down there in Ocala, Florida. We pray for her, uh, for her health, her special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and her family. We pray for her son-in-law, Robert, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Morris, for his health and special intentions. And Lord, we pray for Marilyn, that you heal and strengthen her heart. We pray for Joanne Taylor, who suffers from cancer, Lord. And we pray for our catechumens. We pray, dear Lord, for our catechumens, that they continue to grow in faith in you. The Holy Spirit uh, Parish in Venice, Florida. We pray for Thomas, Ann, Curtis, Craig, and Melissa at the... Uh, all Saints Parish of America. We pray for Ken and Nancy Klein. We pray, dear Lord, for the uh, catechumens at the Nativity of Christ Parish in uh, Youngstown, Ohio, at, in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens at St. Ananias Parish. We pray for the catechumens at St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens at St. Uh, George's Parish in uh, Fresno, California. Kenneth, Madison, Justin, and Karen. We pray for the uh, catechumens at St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky, all 49 of them. 49 catechumens, Lord. Thank you so much, and they include Alex Shanera. Well, Lord, we pray for Tina Showalter, our, my sister, my sister, and uh, we pray for her, Lord, for her ministry and her, uh, uh, her health. We pray especially for her, her husband, John, Lord, who's uh, having a couple of procedures this month. We pray that you bring him back to good health. We pray for Tom Abraham and his family, especially Bren May, his granddaughter. Thank you for all you've done for her. Lord, we pray for Joyce and Joyce Marie and Tim, her husband. We pray for their health. And she asks us to pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group, and that you hear our prayers and be glorified in them. Now, Lord, we also pray for her sister Janet. We pray that you keep her cancer free. And we pray for Janet and Joyce's mother, Granny Joyce with all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace so that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray for Jolene and Jeremiah, and that, that their household be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and follow your leading. And we pray for Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free. Lord, we pray for uh, Joyce's cousin Connie for healing of body and soul, and that she continues to grow in faith in you. We pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together with Father Mark, Mary Mary's Market, and the whole congregation there. We pray for your blessings, Lord, and All Saints Parish in Chicago, together with Father Andrew and Father Patrick Reardon. Lord, we pray for Joanne Manaski. Good morning, Joanne. Well, Lord, we pray for her over there in Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, Lord, we pray that uh, you keep her healthy. We pray for her cousin Mark, who has fallen asleep. And we pray for a family friend, Claire, who suffers from cancer. Now we also pray for Joanne's daughter Erin and her husband Andrew, and uh, we pray that you help them with their struggles. And we pray for uh, Joanne's son Corey and her three brothers Eugene, Stephen, and Paul for health and healings. And we pray for a healing for uh, jo Joanne's great niece Madison. Now, Lord, we also pray for uh, Rachel for her health. We pray for Joel who has fallen asleep. We pray for uh, Jackie and Bev. We pray that you keep them free. Uh, cancer-free after you've healed them. And thank you so much, Lord. And, Lord, we pray for Randy, who has cancer, and we pray for Randy's uh, caregiver, Jude, and we pray for the health of Jack, who you healed from cancer. Thank you so much. We pray for Amy Green, that you heal that, that sore that doesn't want to be healed, Lord, and we pray that those biopsies come back uh, non-cancerous. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we pray for Amy and her husband, Eric, and we thank you for both of them. We pray for their health, their faith, Eric's business, and Amy's students. We pray for their daughters, Sarah and Natalie, and future son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. So, Lord, we also pray for Amy's mother. We pray for uh, Lois, Lord, for her physical, emotional, and spiritual health. We pray for Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace, for their health. We pray for... Uh, Rick and his crew, that's Amy's brother, and we pray that you keep him safe. He's a first responder. We pray for Randy, who's fallen asleep. We pray for Tabitha, Austin, and Naomi for their health. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and 
Sean for health and endurance. We pray, Lord, for Christine and Teresa, that you relieve them of their, their uh, migraine headache. We pray for that. We pray for mother and daughter, Lauren and Ryder. We pray for their health and healing, and we pray, Lord, that Lauren can find permanent housing. We pray for little Levi, who suffers from cancer, but the news has been good there. Thank you, Lord. Now we pray for full recovery for little Levi, and we pray for his parents, Dustin and Jessica. We pray for Belle, Andrea, and their families for healing and strength. We pray for Pam, Jay, and Christina for healings. And Lord, we pray for Rosemarie and Emma Jean. They're both in nursing homes, and we pray, dear Lord, that you keep them healthy and safe and protect them. We pray for Debbie Owen. Good morning, Deb. Well, Lord, we pray for Debbie Owen. We pray, dear Lord, that you make life a little less complicated and less stressful. We pray for success for her private practice. We pray for the health of her father. Now, we also pray for her husband, Matt, that he's better able to uh, handle stressful situations. And we pray for their children, Clara, Amaya, Jill, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray for them. And let me see. Oh, Lord, we pray that uh, those children, uh, Lord, we pray that those children make good decisions in their lives and come closer in faith to you. We pray especially for Gio that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Debbie's friends, Yelena and Masha, for their health. We pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. And it's this time that we generally go over here and see if Joseph Khalil is here. Yes, he is. Good morning, Joseph. And he has a, a verse for us from Genesis chapter 24. But he said to me, the Lord before whom I walk will send his angel and with you and prosper and your prosper your way. Amen. Will send his angel with you and prosper your way. Thank you, Joseph. Well, Lord, we pray for Joseph. We pray for his health. We pray that you protect him. We pray for that. We pray for his ministries that they continue to be pleasing to you and uh, are a blessing to all those touched by them. We pray for that. We pray for his sons, Toby and Luke. We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them and guide them in their lives. We pray that you protect Luke from all infections. We pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. We pray for Joseph's mother, Odette, that you heal her of her cancer and bring her to good health. We also pray for Joseph's wife, Renea, for her health and a healing. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Robin and Robin Armstrong and Pippin. We pray that you keep them healthy, Lord, and protect them. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we also pray for her father, Robert, who has fallen asleep. We pray for the health of her mother, Carolyn. We pray for that young lady, Malia, who has that brain tumor. We pray for healing for her. And things are going okay. We thank you, Lord. And we pray for Malia's mother, Lori. We pray for Francis, and we pray for... Gary, this little, little boy who's had that brain surgery uh, to remove that tumor. And uh, Lord, we pray for a full recovery for him. Amen. Lord, we pray for our brother, Jonathan Nichols. We pray for him, Lord, and thank you for healing him from liver cancer. Thank you. Now, Lord, we pray that he stays in good health and has no reoccurrence of cancer. We pray for that. We pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina, for their health and healings for them. Stefan Bennett asked to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flocks during this very, very trying time. So, Lord, I pray for my priest at St. Michael's, Father Gregory. Pray for Father Constantinos and his ministry at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. We pray for Father Antipas in Nairobi and Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. We also pray for Father Demetrius Laosis at St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. We pray for Amy Green, asked to pray for Father Joseph at St. George's Parish in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. We pray for Stelio's two priests, Fathers Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for Christina Hunter's priest, Father Simon. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Michael and Joyce Reger's uh, priest, Father Daniel Hackney at St. Ananias Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Surreal, and her godson, Father Nick. We pray for uh, Barb Anderson's son, Arch Priest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short. We pray for Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's near uh, Houston. We pray for Alioni's priest, Fathers Ephraim, Lucas, and Seraphim. They're at uh, 
St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky. We pray for Gary Ballard's priest, Father Thomas Newland at St. Sophia's in San Antonio. Amy Green asks to pray for Father Sam and Father Jeremy. Karen Valentesis asks to pray for her husband, Father Constantine. Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. Robin Armstrong, we pray for her priest, Lord Father John Parcells at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. Lord, we pray for these priests. We pray for their ministries, for their health, and for their families as well. We pray for Mother Elizabeth, for her health, her ministry, and uh, her family. We pray for our bishops, Bishop Sava, Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. Lord, we pray for these bishops. We pray, dear Lord, uh, for their ministries, for their health, and their families as well. Now, Alaska, this is a time when we uh, go around and see if there's any other prayer requests. So let's see. And let me see. Catherine Salcedo is here. Thank you for all your loving prayers. May God's love and blessings overflow. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Good to see you. And over here. And, and Alaska. Let me see. Catherine Houston mentions, here's a great book to supplement your efforts. Many priests rec recommend it to inquirers and catechumens. And it's called Welcome to the Orthodox Church, an Introduction to Eastern Orthodoxy. That's Welcome to the Orthodox Church, an Introduction to Eastern Christianity. And, uh, and the author is Frederica Matthews Green. Good book, good book. And Johnson Nichols says, Welcome, Alaska. I'm a Protestant convert also. We have a lot of them around here. And uh, let me see here. Amber, please pray for Claudina. 80 years old, heart surgery today at 7 a.m. And uh, so, Lord, we pray for a successful surgery for Claudine, Claudina. We pray for that, Lord, and we pray for her doctors that you guide their hands. We pray for that. And Alioni says, I have another update on Kaylin, little baby Kaylin. One of the prayer requests that Catherine and Matthew asked for, Kaylin's heart rhythm to get stronger and not need a pacemaker. And the prayer is answered. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And here's Gary Ballard. Good morning to you. And uh, Amber says, pray for little Kaylin's lungs to improve. Yes, we pray for that. And Elioni says, Kaylin doesn't need the pacemaker. Thank you, Lord. And she is moving to a pediatric care today. Glory to God. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Double check over here. And here. So, Lord... We ask that you remember and have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And Lord, we uh, ask that your mother, the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And Lord, we pray that our saint of the day, Saint Euthemius the Great, we pray to your Lord that he remembers us and our prayer intentions and his prayers when he prays. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, visit and heal your servants, Lord, all of those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you grant them release from pain and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again tomorrow. Alaska, uh, be here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for morning prayers. Now, Kurt and I will be here this evening, same station, same place, everything, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. That's the Gospel Minute Live at 9 p.m. tonight. Right here, right where you are. Alaska. Oh, there we go. So, until then, there are two things that you must remember. One, 
God loves you, and he really, really, really does. The second thing to remember, we all love one another. We really do. We really, really, really do. So, folks, until tomorrow, may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh.